Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring you your monthly love forecast for May 2020. How do they feel about you? What's their current feeling? So this can be applied to singles, couples, or anyone in between, or anyone who needs love messages, okay? So it's just gonna be the person that you wanna know about the most, the one that you're here for, okay? You can check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign for more information. And you're gonna have to let me know some feedback, okay? Do you like this? Do you not like this? Let me know in the comments below. Um, and also, if you don't like it, then make a suggestion for me of what you would like to, um, what you would like me to do reading for. Okay, so what we're gonna do is you're gonna use three different decks and all the names of the decks are in the description box below. If you'd like a personal reading, all of the information is in the description box below. All right, so a Scorpio's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they wanna know about the most. How do they feel about my Scorpio's romantic? How does my Scorpio's love interest feel about my Scorpio's romantic? Okay, feels good. See, and one more. Feels good, okay. Let's stand, lay down these Oracle cards first and then we're gonna lay down the Tur and then the Lenormand. Okay, so rest and relaxation. I love you. You are limitless. Spending quality time together. Love who you are. Okay. Let's move this aside here. Okay, so we have the death and rebirth card, the judgment card, the page of wands card, the full card energy, the five of swords card energy. The child card energy, the uh, cross card energy, the mice card energy, the person card energy, and the anchor card energy. Okay. This person is doing a lot of thinking and contemplating and planning because they feel that this is essential, because they feel that there is something that ended to start something new or some kind of transformation or rebirth here because of uh, wanting a fresh start and new opportunity or because for some of you, there could be a child involved in the situation or children involved in the situation. They feel like they love you and they feel like these would be powerful words in order to reconcile and heal the situation. They feel that there could be a spiritual connection here with the cross card energy or they feel that there is some kind of burdens or challenge around this. Okay, so let me just come here. I just wanna just tune in to what's going on. This person is, is feeling like, for some of you, there may have been, uh, this may have been somebody from the past or an ex energy for some of you, or there was somebody who was dealing with some kind of ending of a relationship here with a death card energy, which has left this person feeling like, I have to think about things, I have to contemplate things in order to have a fresh start and a new opportunity. This person does feel like they want to say they love you and they feel like they want some kind of reconciliation and healing, okay? They do feel burdened and challenged with the cross card energy. They feel like you are limitless. They feel like you're limitless. And um, they feel that you can do anything that you choose. So they're feeling like, you know, you have a lot of options, a lot of ways you can go with this. And they, they do love you. And uh, they do want to flirt with you with the Page of Wands energy and they do want some kind of message of passion or a new path and passion, but they feel that there's some stress and anxiety here with the Mice card energy. Uh, and remember, pages are also potential, they're potential for something. They feel like there's some kind of potential passion here. And uh, this, this unlimitedness that, that they feel that you have, you know, I feel that this person feels that, um, 
you you are this very special individual and it's like it's like they know that you're very special and in, in a positive sense like if we look at this card this person is looking at you like wow look at this they have all these rainbows and they have all these beautiful things around them and they there's all these wonderful things that i'm not you know kind of energy i, I feel like you know uh scorpio is just like has everything and, and is everything and it's just unlimited in their possibilities and their beauty and and their creativity it's just unlimitless and this is causing them stress this is causing them stress here with the mice card energy okay uh, because they feel like, you know, they want to flirt. They want some kind of potential here. But they feel like something will be taken away because they're like, Scorpio's just got all this going on here. You know, all this stuff going on here in a very positive way. Because um, it's like almost like the all of creation is inside of this uh, Pegasus here. It's like all of creation's in there. And it's like Scorpio's got all this unlimited potential within them. And they feel like, I want to spend time with this person. I just want to spend quality time with this person. And I want them to listen and talk. They, they just want to listen and talk with you. Okay? You can see these two people are together here. And they feel like they want to take a risk. They want to take a risk here with the full card energy. They want to take a leap of faith here. They just want to like fall off the cliff and they don't want to see where they're going. And they just want to just go for it here with the, the full card energy. Uh, and then we have the person card here. They want to take a risk. They want to take a leap of faith. Um, they feel like there is that love. They feel like they love who you are. They, and again, we're getting the kind of energy of like, wow, look how creative, how beautiful, how special this person is to me. Um, and they're just like, all this, this creative things, all this unlimited things within Scorpio, I just love who they are. They're so divine, they're so delightful, they're so diver deserving of wonderful things. Uh, and they feel like you have a lot to offer, okay? They feel like you have a lot to offer. But they feel like there is, there could be some people talking in this person's ear, okay? You can see that the Five of Swords, there's a bird talking to this person, and this person is going like this, like, I don't know. I don't know. This is making me feel defeated. You know, um, I don't know if I should stand up and fight for this. I should walk away from this. Five of Swords energy. Um, and it's like this person wants, and also, oh my goodness, in this card, if I look at this card, um, it's like this person is thinking like, if you look at this card, you can see there's a person in the back. And in the back, it looks like there's there's some kind of blood or spillage on the snow there. It feels like this person's like, oh my God, I'm just going to be like defeated here and I, I'm going to get wounded here in this situation. And this is making me feel stressed. This is making me feel like I'm, I, I, I don't know if I should stand up and fight or walk away. And it feels like this person's being influenced somehow or someone's talking to this person. And this is causing this person to feel like I, I feel like I'm anchored or there's something that's anchoring this person or they want stability and stable. So they want this to last for a while. Um, and the reason also why I say there could be a person influencing is because this is a person card here. And this is a part of why they feel like there's some kind of risk in the realm of the situation. Okay, so if I come back to the central issue of how this person feels about you, they feel like you are very special and that you have all these things going for you and that you're just unlimited in possibilities and about how you are as a person in a very positive way, a positive way of thinking about you. They just feel like you... You can choose anything that you want and you have all the specialness about you. And they feel like they want to flirt with you or they feel like they want this potential passion with you, but they're they're feeling stress and anxiety because they feel like they want to say, I love you and they want to spend quality time with you. But they feel like there needs to be some kind of reconciliation or there's some kind of risk involved with this. Because of something that ended or stopped here with this death card energy or some kind of transformation needs to happen, they feel this defeated energy around this, this connection with the Five of Swords energy. They feel like they're going to get hurt somehow. I feel that. I feel that this person's feeling like they're going to get hurt somehow. They want a fresh start, a new opportunity here with the Child Card energy, but they feel like there's some kind of anchor or something to do with stability and stableness. And they feel like there's some challenges or changes around this because of the, a particular person. So there could be, for this person that you're dealing with, Scorpio, there could be someone influencing this person, which is causing stress and anxiety or this person 
person is feeling like something's eating away at them pertaining to the situation. And that's why they're doing a lot of thinking and contemplating about this connection because they do feel that they love who you are and they feel that you have all this potential and they feel like you have all these options and they feel like you're very deserving of wonderful things that life has to offer. And uh, they're just feeling really challenged by that, okay? Just for some of you, of course. Okay, so let's let's look at the, the uh, numerology here. Four is about stability and stable. And three plus six is seven, eight, nine, about wishes being fulfilled. Five is about challenges or changes. Two plus nine is 10, 11, about a choice to put the work or effort into it. There you go again. This person is doing a lot of thinking, contemplating, all right, I want stability, I want stableness, but I feel challenged by this. Should I put the work or effort into this? You know, I feel that... This person feels like, and let's just clarify this card about this unlimitless going on here. What is this about here? What is this about? You are limitless. What is this about? What is this about? Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. Yeah, they feel like you have all the tools that you need, that you're ideal, the magician card energy. They're having stress and anxiety that, about that with the, with the, uh, the nine of, of swords energy and because it's something that's new it's new potential it's new ideas it's new perspectives here with the page of swords energy and they feel like my god things are gonna crash down it's gonna be some sudden changes or big events here or uh, upheaval here with the tower card energy and this is leaving this person feeling like i'm defensive i should keep my wall up i should you know i'm gonna get hurt here with nine of wands energy and uh, I don't know if I should take charge of this. Will I be victorious here with the chariot card energy? All right, my Scorpios, I love you guys so much. Please let me know what you thought in the comments below. Did you like this? Did you not like this? If you didn't like this, let me know some things that you would suggest for me to read for in the future. I love you guys so much. Um, I will be releasing the weeklies either tomorrow or Monday. So stay tuned for that. And guys, stay safe. Have a great rest of your month. Love you guys so much.